Welcome to UASA Battery Pro Tips, where we power your passion with tips, tricks, and expert guidelines to make sure you're getting the best out of your UASA battery. I'm Chris with UASA, here to talk to you today about diagnosing battery problems and solving them. Look, we all know that things go wrong, and even the best equipment needs replaced eventually. So, we're going to help you understand what you need to know in those situations. Let's get started. The relationship between your motorcycle battery and engine functions much in the same way as a car battery. They have an alternator, also known as a stator, and a regulator, also referred to as a rectifier that charges the battery while you ride. However, it is important to note that normal riding may not be enough to fully charge the battery after being completely depleted. For example, if you accidentally leave your headlight on overnight and find that the battery has died in the morning, the alternator stator in your bike may not provide enough power to fully replenish the charge after you jumpstart the engine. There are plenty of factors that could prevent your motorcycle from starting, from carbon buildup on the spark plugs to an empty gas tank. Make sure you go through the checklist of potential problems prior to attempting a jumpstart. Some of the most common reasons for a failure to start are Kickstand safety mechanism. Some bikes are built with a kickstand safety mechanism that prevents them from starting if the kickstand is down. Gear shift neutral safety mechanism. In order to prevent the bike from accidentally starting while in gear, many models must be in neutral or, if it is not, you must have the clutch engaged prior to starting. Kill switch. Kill switches are important safety components that make it easy to shut off the bike without having to fumble with the ignition keys. Make sure it's not the reason your bike won't start. Corroded terminals. Corrosion typically looks like a flaky layer of white or green discoloration that sits on the battery's terminals. If you find that your terminals have corrosion present, you're going to want to clean them. You can find detailed instructions on how to do this at uasabatteries.com in the resources section. Damaged wiring. If you find that you have damaged wiring on your bike, you're going to want to replace it before jump-starting your bike. Damage to the battery casing. If you notice any discoloration or leaking coming from the battery, you'll need to replace it immediately. Once you've determined that your battery is the reason why it won't start, it's time for a jump-start. Motorcycle batteries can be jump-started from a car battery, portable battery jump-starter, or another motorcycle. Most motorists keep jumper cables in their vehicle, so it shouldn't be too hard to find somebody who's willing to help you out. Once you have your live battery lined up, follow these simple steps. Connect the positive red terminal on the dead battery to the positive terminal on the live battery. Clamp the negative black terminal on the live battery, but make sure you place the opposite negative clamp on a grounded and unpainted portion of your motorcycle. Typically, the chassis is a good place for this. It's very important that you do not attach the jumper cable to the negative terminal as this may cause a spark and possibly ignite any gas that may be leaking from the battery. Start the vehicle with the good battery and let it run for a few minutes. Make sure your area is well ventilated. After you've waited a few minutes, try starting your bike. Once everything is running, make sure you disconnect the cables in the reverse order of how they were connected. Use a UASA battery maintainer to bring your battery to a full charge. Well, now that your bike is running and the cables are disconnected, you're ready to roll. If you find yourself needing to jumpstart your battery over and over again, it might be time to replace it. You can talk to any authorized UASA dealer to help you diagnose battery issues and find the right replacement. Also, you can find a lot more tips and advice for proper battery care and maintenance over at uasabatteries.com forward slash resources. I'm Chris with UASA, and like always, I have a question. What drives you?